Yes, mistakes to avoid in importation from China as a beginner. Okay, these are the mistakes you need to avoid while you are importing your products from China. If this sounds great to you, do not hesitate to click on the like button and then click on the subscribe button if you haven't done so and turn on your notification bell icon so you get notified each time I drop new videos. Welcome to my channel, it's me Jafega Okureko, popularly known as Fesky. In this channel I share valuable content about mini importation, how to make money online and a lot of business ideas. Okay, so I will be showing you five common mistakes to avoid in importation, especially from China as a beginner. So endeavor to watch to the end so you don't make this mistake rather you avoid them so that your importation will be top notch now the very first mistake for you to avoid is with regards to your product sourcing there are a lot of persons they just import any product of their choice no you don't do that in importation you need to source for products that are hot selling okay products that when you buy them People will want to buy them. That is when you import them down, people will want to buy them. They are hot selling. Okay. You don't just go import products that are popular, that are all around you, that when you just walk into any shop, you get it. No, you import products that are scarce. Okay. Import products that are scarce. So you need to source for these products. And how can you do that? You can do that by research. You need to do a thorough research on a particular product that you want to buy. You can use Facebook. There are a lot of persons running Facebook ads. Okay. Some persons, if you notice Facebook ads with regard to products, you will see some person selling a particular product and it's moving. When you notice the likes, the comments, the shares, you know that, ah, this is a hot selling product. Okay. Then you go for it. Okay. So go for products that are hot, hot selling then the next thing you need to avoid is pricing if you have seen the particular product that you want to buy fine well and good how do you buy in bulk so that when you sell you are going to make huge profits you don't just import and sell your aim your goal is to make profit right very well so what you need to do you need to have a good pricing system as you source for a particular product on the Chinese website, it could be 1688. I've already filmed a video on how you can be able to source for quality products. I'll drop the link in the description box. If you haven't watched it, you can do that. Okay, so when you want to um, go for any particular product, you need to buy in bulk. When you buy in bulk, then it will be cheaper for you. Okay, for example, you can be able to even beat down the MOQ, minimum order quantity. I've also um, filmed a video on how you can be able to beat down the minimum order quantity. You can also check the description box for that. So you need to have a good pricing system. Let's say, for example, you want to buy a particular product that has different packs. We have a product that has um, three in one. That same product has six in one. That same product has 12 in one okay so and if you are to buy that 12 in one it will be cheaper than when you buy six in one or three in one okay so you need to have a good pricing system you need to check all these so that as you buy you are going to make huge profits all right you need to layer with the um with the seller so that your prices the prices in which you use in buying these products will be very cheap will be at an affordable rate so that when it gets to the country of your choice wherever you are you won't spend much on it rather you are going to make huge profit so take note of your pricing system three finding suppliers you need to search for suppliers and buy your goods from them that's where you get cheap products you can buy from manufacturers, you can buy from suppliers, okay? If you buy from these persons, then your products will be cheap. But then if you buy from wholesalers, those who are reselling, because we have three categories in that um, Chinese website. 
we have the manufacturers we have the suppliers and we have sourcing agents okay so if you go buy your products from this sourcing agent it will be like you're buying from a wholesaler you're not buying directly from the suppliers or the manufacturers okay and then you can't get an affordable rate there so you need to search well search for whom you are to buy from you need to find suppliers okay find suppliers like for example if you're using alibaba it's clearly stated there you know if this person is a manufacturer if it's a supplier the same thing with 1688 too okay you know if this person is a manufacturer if it's a supplier let me give you a little tip on that for 1688 for you to know that this person is a manufacturer you need to check their uh, below the uh, page okay you will notice that the person sells the same item the same item if you notice some if you scroll down you see that there are different items they are not in the same category at all you just know that that person is a sourcing agent okay you can't get your products cheap at a cheap rate from that particular person so there are a lot of things to check on that so you need to buy from a manufacturer or a supplier that's why you get your product at a cheap rate rather than buying from a sourcing agent so you need to avoid this in order for you to be able to benefit from your importation okay then the next one is shipping method a lot of persons they they don't just know the right method to ship their goods from china down to their country okay for example you've seen a particular product that is hot selling good you've done your pricing well fine now how do you ship some persons will be like oh okay i want to beat down the cost of this particular product i want it to get to me very 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 cheap okay i will go for sea shipping yes it's true that sea shipping sea shipping is cheap it is cheap but then how long are you going to wait two to three months before you get your goods and when that goods arrive that two to three months what will become of that particular product that was hot selling it's no longer hot selling it, it, it has filled the market it's now a popular product so people won't buy from you that's when you get your product stocked somewhere in your shop or in your room if you're selling from home or wherever okay so you need to have a good shipping method if you're going for a hot selling product fine you use air shipping that will be faster within 7 to 14 days you've gotten your goods you sell and then you leave that you search for another hot selling product and that's what you do okay so you need to choose your shipping method well then the next thing to do is delivery time okay you need to deliver on time all right there are some persons that this this has to do with the um shipping method i also explained in number four okay so your delivery time should be short it should be when that product is still hot you need to deliver on time for example there are some persons that run um um what is it called they buy goods for others okay it could be pre-order for example you tell your customers that okay these particular goods within seven days you've gotten your goods and they will, and then they'll pay you money you will send the goods you, you you send for the goods you order them you ship them and then time of arrival is keeping to your time because you did not search well like how long will this take okay so you need to have a good delivery time so that you don't be like someone who is dishonest to your um customers all right you need to plan your delivery time well everyone knows that china importation the the maximum time for your goods to arrive is between 7 to 14 days mind you if you're buying a lot of things and you're buying from different suppliers know that the suppliers they are going to send your goods to your shipping company one after the other okay and that will take some time there are some their province are a little bit far from wherever your shipping company might be okay so it might take two to three days for them to arrive at your shipping company there in china then they'll have to gather your goods together and then send to nigeria so you need to take those um delivery th that that time frame into vision so that you know the right time that your goods will arrive and then you know the right time for you to tell your customers that yes the goods are arriving so so day so so day all right so you need to avoid these mistakes for you to be able to 
take your importation to the next level and benefit maximally from it okay if you find this video very interesting please do not hesitate to click on the like button and also subscribe if you haven't done so and click on the share button too then do not forget to leave your comment in the comment section telling me how much you enjoyed this video and if there are other things you want me to talk about okay you can feel free to drop it in the comment section i will attend to them thanks so much for watching this video to the end i'll see you in my next video bye for now